Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an all-new Reaction and Review. Tonight, guys, I'm taking a look at a gay comedy from 2006. That movie is another gay movie. Now, when I first saw that title, I thought that this might be a sequel to something, a, a sequel to something simply called Gay Movie. But, um... After, but, but after doing some searching, I found out that there is no prequel to this, but there is a sequel. I don't even know if I want to bother with the sequel right now. And I know a lot of you are wondering, just why the hell do I have a copy of this thing in my hands? And that's real easy. A friend loaned it out to me. She tossed me this and said that it'd be, she, she said that I should check it out for my series. I'm going to tell you right now, I never know how to take that whenever someone tells me that I should check out something for my series, because it either means that it's, you know, going to be good for some really goofy, you know, reactions, or it's really shit and it's going to be fun to watch me, you know, rip into it. I don't know which way this one here is going to fly. I... Really, I really don't even know a whole lot about the plot outside of, uh, according to a blurb on the back here, that what this basically is, is a gay version of, it's a, it's a gay version of American Pie. And I want to let everyone know right now that I'm not a fan of that franchise. I have yet to find a single seriously and honestly funny funny American Pie movie, so I'm not sure if making the whole cast gay is going to fix that at all. I'm also not sure exactly how I how I am going to enjoy this, since this, especially since this here is a very loudly gay, gay film, and I am, you know, straight, but hey, who knows? This thing could actually be, you know, decent. The only way I am going to find out if there's any good to this movie is if I shut up and I push play, and I'm going to do that right now. So, without further ado, it's time to kick back, relax, and check out another gay movie. Okay, I kind of feel the urge to ask. Are we going to run into a single character in this film who isn't a horribly, horribly offensive stereo, you know, type? I'm really hoping to find, you know, a character here who's not just a shallow and terrible stereo stereotype. Then again, I'm also hoping for some witty, you know, writing, and so far we haven't really gotten that either. Wow. So this, so the, so this movie has yet, has yet, has yet to be funny, and now we just saw one of our main characters, Spread Eagle, and shaving his balls. That was, that guy's was just magical. Is the dad really having a talk with his son about dick size in front of the son's friends? Don't you think maybe that's something that maybe like a father and son should talk about, you know, alone? You know, like not fucking in front of a group that seems kind of off-putting. Of course, it couldn't be a gay version of American Pie without... Somebody horribly violating a baked a baked good. In this instance, it's a quiche. Not only is it a quiche, but the guy's also got a gerbil crawling up his ass. Why the fuck am I watching this again? Alright, um, I have a question. Is it common practice for Richard fucking Hatch to sign his books nude? Because that just seems a little bit out of place, and I don't really know any any bookstore that would let him walk in there nude and sign his book. Just saying, guys. It just seemed a little bit weird to me. Wow. And now we have a shitting... And now we have a shitting scene that is almost as stupid as the one that was in Dumb and Dumber. My god, this movie seriously has nothing, guys. It seriously is giving us nothing new, creative, original, clever, or funny. It's actually kind of tragic. Well, guys, that was another gay movie. Let's shut that off. Good lord. Okay, um... God damn, I'm trying to figure out where the hell to even start. Um, I'm going to start with writing. 
There, seriously, guys, is no way... Now, there is no way to even fucking, like, to even fucking, like, dance around the issue. This is a straight-up remake of... This is a straight-up remake of American Pie. It honestly, guys, is not even a matter of, oh, but, oh, but. No, no. The only fucking difference is that our, is that our main characters are gay. It, it This thing, guys, is not even, guys, a clever remake. It's a very lazy, really shit re remake at... At, at that. I mean, I was kind of sort of expecting something with maybe a similar plot and everything. No, no, this thing, guys, hits every single one of the same beats that was, that was hit in, that was hit in American Pie, except now all of it's gay instead of straight. And for some people, that is going to be plenty. But for me, the very fact that it is a lazy slipshod remake is just is just is just shit to me. I honestly thought it, it was going to be something, you know, creative and a little bit different, but it wasn't. Anyway, uh, I just sort of wanted to touch on that first because uh, a lot of you guys know my stance on remakes. They should not fucking exist, and this thing is a really good piece of evidence to show why it, why they shouldn't at all. Anyway, beyond this thing being just a lazy remake. What else is going on? Well, um, in terms of character, in terms of character depth, um, it would have been nice if our characters had any level of any level of depth. I guys, I'm gonna give you quite literally every single character in this film. You are either straight, and you're like one of the four straight characters, like four or so straight characters who show up in here, and you have no other personality outside of you're straight. Then. Right here, uh, right here is every other character. If you are male and gay, you are so absolutely flaming that 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 the ghosts of that the ghosts of Paul Lind and Liberace are going to tell you to tone it down. And if you are a woman and gay, you are the biggest you are the biggest bull dyke butch lesbian the world has ever seen. And that's it for characters, guys. I mean that. I mean oh, and also we have. Um, one of our characters, uh, Nico, his his uh, mom is like this ultra ultra happy mid fucking western mom, uh, and he thinks that she doesn't know that he's gay. That literally is a plot point in this movie, and it's not even a good one because it's kind of because because it was kind of sort of resolved within like twenty seconds, and it was a really really poorly done resolution as well. Um, and beyond that, we don't have anything else here for characters. Uh, and everything else, guys, is, is, is just all basically, you're gay male and black, or you're gay male and kind of sort of Russian. Uh, it's like, that's really it for, for characters. Our characters here are literally about as shallow as you could ever make a character. Uh, and that is saying a lot, because I was kind of expecting at least some level of depth, especially since the movie that this thing is trying to fucking re re remake at least had at least had minimal depth on the characters. This thing doesn't even have that, which is once more proof proof guys why why we shouldn't bother with fucking you know remakes if they're gonna be this goddamn lazy. Anyway, our characters are our characters are complete shit. Our script our script is completely lifted from another film. Uh, there really, guys, is nothing else to talk about in terms of writing. Nothing here, nothing here was really good. I oh wait, I do have to touch on humor. There is almost no humor in this film, which is funny because this movie claims to be a comedy. The only time anything in here was even the slightest bit clever was the first time we saw the name of the high school that all of these guys are going to. Because they all go to Santorum High. Yes, yes, guys, the closest thing we have here to wit is a joke involving Rick Santorum. That's saying, that now that guy speaks, speaks volumes about uh, exactly how lazy they were in fishing for humor. And that also is the only one that I actually thought was kind of sort of clever. Nothing else here worked in terms of humor. 
Oh, and also, and also, the high school's team is the Donkeys, which means that, which, which basically, which was basically done specifically so they can have giant, so so that way, so that way they can have S T D in giant bold letters on the high school sign, which kind of sort of kills the witty, the slightly witty joke involving fucking Santorum. But let's you know, but let's just sort of walk away from that. Writing in this thing, guys, was horrible. Uh, I was not able to get into the writing at at all, and at no time was I ever given a reason to care about any of these characters. Um, acting. Acting here, guys, is like the, is like one of the weirdest things I have ever seen, because maybe about a third of the cast actually tried. Maybe about a third of the cast put in, put in some level of effort that actually worked. The other half of the cast put in nothing at all. All. So you guys will literally have scenes where there are where where you'll have certain characters who are actually putting an effort, actually sound like they are in the fucking scene, and they're talking to some worthless, lifeless husk who sounds like they're reading off of a cue card, and reading poorly off of a cue card at that. And that guy's and that guy's is not just for like this scene or that scene. That's for every fucking scene in the movie. About three quarters of our cast don't know how to act, do not put in any kind of effort, and all of that, and, and all of that shines far, far more when they have to share screen time with people who can act. So when we have these lifeless, worthless wastes sharing fucking screen time with people, say, like, Scott Thompson or Graham fucking Norton or, like, any of our four, you know, leads... It looks terrible because none of them can fucking act. None of them put in any kind of effort at all. The acting here, guys, the acting here, I honestly, guys, would have probably been happier if everybody sucked. But the very fact that we have about a quarter of our cast, a third of our cast, like, you know, like, you know, like, give or take, who are actually trying, you know, and then, and then, and then everybody else is phoning it in and failing miserably at it, it really does just make, guys, the bad acting stand out even more. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> camera work here is good. Lighting here is fine. The sound mix is okay. Um, sound effects are, I guess, sort of, you know, passable. I do have to touch on special effects. There are very, very few special effects, thankfully, but all of them are terrible. Uh, there are a couple of moments when we have CG, which involve the, which, uh, which, which all, which all totally involve the scene with the plug-in penis, you know, pump, which was kind of a stupid scene in, in and of itself, which also then led to a very poorly done prosthetic dick that was like fucking, you know, like two feet long and shriveled. It was kind of stupid. The whole thing, guys, felt like a massive waste in terms of special effects, which makes sense, because I could also say the same thing about, I could say the same thing about the writing and about three quarters of the fucking cast. Whole thing here was a massive, colossal waste. Guys, when all is said and done, am I able to recommend another gay movie? No. Uh, there is no way in hell. This thing was horrible. And not only, guys, is it horrible, but it also is horribly, horribly offensive to gay people. Because, guys, again, this thing here is painting every single gay human being as either, as either being Paul Lind, Paul Lind, John Waters, Liberace, Flaming Gay, or being a bull dyke lesbian, and there's literally no middle fucking ground. And that, guys, and that, guys, just sounds wrong. And mind you, I also, guys, am straight, and I found this thing to be terribly, terribly offensive towards gay, gay people. This thing, guys, sucks on every conceivable level. And they also tease the sequel at the very end. No, I'm not going to watch the, the, the sequel. I'm still wondering why my friend Whitney loaned, loaned this thing to me. The fact of the matter, guys, is this thing, this thing here was shit. And no, I am not about to watch the fucking sequel. The sequel, frankly, can just go fuck off and die. I do not care. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I never thought I would say this. You guys, you guys would get more laughs out of watching a piece of shit such as, such as, 
American buy than you would watching its slipshod, fourth-rate, gay, knockoff remake shit piece. This thing was terrible. This movie sucks. And frankly, I am happy that I am done, done watching it because now I don't have to have it sitting here wondering. Now I can give it back to Whitney and she can put it back in with her collection or throw it out or sell it. I don't know what she's planning on doing with it, but... Honestly, guys, this thing, this thing was not for me. That is just saying a lot. I really thought this thing was going to be kind of funny, and I didn't, and I never even smiled once. Anyway, guys, um, wow, this was bad. Well, they also lifted a scene directly from Revenge of the Nerds. I do have that on DVD. I'm going to go watch that. Anyway, guys, with that, we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.